Okay. X squared plus Y squared minus 2FX minus 2GY plus C equals 0. Sub in the points. 16 plus 4 minus 8F minus 4G plus C equals 0. 36 plus 16 minus 12F minus 8G plus C equals 0. 4 plus 16 minus 4F minus 8G plus C equals 0. Subtract these two. Minus 20 minus 12 plus 4F plus 4G equals 0. Subtract these two. 32 minus 8F equals 0. So the second equation gives me F equals 4. Okay, that's good. Sub that into the first equation. Let's see what I get for G. Um, why did I say minus 22? 16 minus 36 is minus 20. 4 minus 12. I wrote 22. Sorry. So that's minus 32 plus 4F plus 4G equals 0. So that means G is 4 as well. So both of them into the first equation. Get 20 minus 32. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 32 minus 16 plus c equals 0. 20 minus 48 plus c equals 0. That means minus 28 plus c equals 0. So c is 28. So the circle would be x squared plus y squared minus 8x minus 8y plus 28 equals 0, which would be x minus 4 squared plus y minus 4 squared equals, let's get the radius, square root 16 plus 16 minus 28. Square root 4 is 2, 2 squared. So it's a circle centered at 4, 4, with radius 2. So this point up here will be 4, 6, 6, 4, 4, 2, and 2, 4. And I think I drew that. Let's check it out. 2, 4. Yeah. 6, 4. Yeah. 4, 2. Yeah. 4, 6. Yeah. That's okay. Now, we have a chord here of length 2 root 3. So, so this length here is 4 units. So 2 root 3, that's less than 4 units. So we'll just draw it here. We'll put a line here. So that would be root 3, and that would be root 3. That's the radius, which is 2, and that distance there, which is d. So we have d squared plus root 3 squared equals 2 squared. So we get D is 1. So that would mean this point here, that would be at 5, that height. Okay. Compute the distance. Okay. Hence, or otherwise, find the equation of the line with slope 3 quarters, from which equal intercepts of length 
two root three in each case are cut off by the circle. Oh, okay, I'm gonna have to figure that out. Come on. Right, 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 right. Okay, so what 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 is going on here? So we've got the distance from the center of the circle. Okay, hence or otherwise. Find the equation of the line with slope three quarters from which equal intercepts of length two root three in each case are cut off by the circle. What they say and hence or otherwise find the equations of the lines with slope three quarters from which equal intercepts of length two root three in each case are cut off by the circle. So we want like something like this, where this distance is two root three. So the slope is three quarters, is that helpful? Because I could, I could draw a triangle here, and uh, that we could say that length is three lambda, and that length is four lambda. I could figure out the lambdas: nine lambda squared plus sixteen lambda squared equals twelve. So twenty-five lambda squared equals twelve. So lambda is root twelve over twenty-five. That's two root three over five. So I know this length here. I know each of these lengths. I also know that this here has to be one. This doesn't really fix it, does it? Hmm. No, that's not one necessarily because, yeah. See, what I'm kind of doing is I'm kind of swinging this around. This here, that it has a slope of three quarters. How could I figure that out? That's quite tough. Must be some smart way of doing it. I 
have this light, we have this light. That's one. So hmm. the problem is the only way I can think of doing this is where parametric equations, which is I wanted to do only the non parametric equations, so I wonder if I get the answer with it. I inspire me to see a non-parametric way of doing it. So if I call this point here A and B, A would be no, no, parametric's not going to work nicely. I'm sure there's some geometrical way of doing it. If we just really we try and be neat here. So uh, we're going to have this guy here. The slope is three quarters. And that's two root three. So that's root three and that's root three. And uh, I don't know where the center is. Maybe it's like here. We know that that's one. We know that that's two. That's two. So what about the three quarters though? Because I could swing this around anyway. I just need to get three quarters. We need to find a point here. The tangent would have a slope of three quarters. Two x plus two y dy dx minus eight minus eight dy dx equals zero. Now dy dx would equal eight minus two x over two y minus eight. That's to equal three over four. So, okay. I could find this point. And just move it to here. Seems like a lot of work though. Doesn't seem right. Like earlier, we have a right angle triangle here, and uh, we said that 3 lambda squared plus 4 lambda squared, that has to equal 12. So, what was that, 16, 25 lambda squared has to equal 12. So lambda is 2 over 5 root 3. So um, that's the 3 side and that's the 4 side. So that's 6 over 5 root 3, that length. And then this length here, 8 over 5 root 3. That is 2. That is 2. And we know where that is. We know this point, this distance, 
to this distance from now so we can have this distance that's to eight over five root tray. D or X or whatever. X squared plus four equals sixty-four over twenty-five times three. So X would be root one hundred ninety-two over twenty-five minus four, which is a hundred over twenty-five. Root ninety-two over five that distance. Maybe it could be perpendicular distance. Is that why they helped us out by asking us for the distance? Let's see, could it be perpendicular distance? Why didn't I think of it sooner? So we have our circle and we have our line and the perpendicular distance has to be one to the center four, four. Maybe perpendicular distance would work. This line has y equals 3 over 4x plus c, which means 4y um, equals 3x plus 4c. I multiply by 4. So you have 3x minus 4y plus 4c equals 0. And uh, the distance between that line and that point has to be one. So modulus 12 minus 16 plus 4c over five has to equal one. So then that means modulus 4c minus four over five has to equal one, which has to equal five. So that means 4c minus four equals plus or minus five, which means four C equals four plus or minus five. So that means C is nine over four or minus one over four. So, so there's the two lines, three X minus four Y plus four C or 3x minus 4y minus 1 equals 0. Let's add them to our graph and see how it looks. 3x minus 4y plus 9 equals 0. 3x minus 4y minus 1 equals 0. Those distances to root three. I mean, I can just roughly, roughly get it if I get the, the distance here. So if I just type in square root and then the squared plus the squared. So just very, 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 very roughly. Um, that's about two and three point eight. And then this one here is about, no, that's just two, no, that one there, hang on, that was about two and 3.8, and then that one, 
4.8 and 5.8. 3.4, okay, and then what's 2 square root 3? Yeah. Yeah, so that distance does look like to be 2 root 3, and uh, likewise, I'm sure that's 2 root 3. So they are two lines, slope 3 over 4. Yeah, okay. I think we're okay now. Yeah, okay, okay.